Hello Kim. Hello, so today I'm going to have shorter sides again and I'm just going to leave this part longer. I still have this side short. That was so, also new short. Yeah, and they was gonna block my hair. Okay. <laughs> and you make your own turn. Yes. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm going to do Kim's hair and uh, it will be platinum blonde, absolutely white. And uh, she is making her own video in the same time, so on her uh, page you can also find her reviews and her uh, wonderful things about makeup. And she tells you what it is. Kimtasteken.com. Puntenel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there you find her work. As always, I start with protection. I'm gonna shave the sides. They are also growing on. The outgrow is a little bit more. And the outgrow of her hair is wonderful. It's about uh, 3 cm, so since the last time she was here, it's growing a lot. I feel myself like Superman. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wet her upper hair a little bit so it can take it easier to the sides. And clean the side lines so I can. Clipper Start at the sides, put my clip on the position of 2 mm and I work in the opposite lines as the hair falls. Clip them to the stop, sharpest position. Back to two millimeters. And the most important thing is that you follow in the opposite lines the hair flow because then you get the nicest shape, otherwise, you see a difference in colors. The upper parts are mostly do with the comb and not the clipper comb because I want to direct my hair and it's easier to set them straight up Again, in a position that I can comb with my clipper. This gives a length about 3 millimeters. Go straight into the fall of the hair. Now hold my co clipper comb flat. And on the skull bone I go out. In the between, I have to clean my blades because the hair sticks on it. Smallest position. Over the center line of the skull, mostly the hair goes right down. And you have to play with your blades because this gives more natural fall of the hair a nicer way to, to show that you're a hairdresser not totally that it's all bald because then you can shave everything off come to the front again Follow the opposite lines of the hair fall again. Again in a coming position. So this gives about 3 mm hair. 
work till I get to the line I separated from the short hair. Smallest position. And even in the smallest position you can come over the hair because then you get more length. Cleaning off the contour I do after, because after the cut because then I don't get irritating skin. Now I start to cut the upper hair. Wet the hair and I'm going to cut it with a hot scissor. I have a new one. I show you in a picture how it looks. Nice thing about the new scissor is that it's smaller as Jaguar and. Um, it has a serial number, it's um, 84610 and but I'll show you in a picture how it looks. I'm just gonna follow the lines she has, so not too much off. And the nice thing about cutting with a hot scissor is that you seal the hairs at the end so they don't split and they grow faster. Not that the hair is growing faster, but when they don't split, it looks like they're growing faster. You know, a lot of people thinking that I let the hair grow faster, but that's not possible, I'm not God. But when you have long hair, you only have to cut twice a year to get good long hair. So that's why some hairdressers never will buy a hot scissor. They want you every time back again. And you see that a good hairstyle lasts long because it's still a good hairstyle. Mm -hmm. I'm still enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Party time! <laughs> Now it's very important that you, you follow the, the lines of the skull because now I'm also following the lines. I watch through the hair over my fingers how the skull bone travels over and I use the same direction in my hairstyle. So don't think I just do something. The most irritating thing about hot scissors is that you have a wire. You can put a line on it so it rests on your uh, pulse and then it's much easier to work with it. On this side I see that the ends are more dry than on the other side because these are not protected to laying on top of her hair. She mostly wears it to her left side. Mm -hmm. So that's why th those hairs are more damaged than the other side. Work till I get about a half centimeter over the, the center line of the skull. And when the hair is wet, you don't burn your hands, but other, when they are dry, you can burn your fingers on the hot scissor because the scissor is 140 degrees. There's the perfect temperature to melt hairs on the ends. And then you seal them because there are keratin, a keratin, and a protein go closed when they get hot. And scale. There comes no one with the perfect film here. Take the hair up over the center line. So now I'm sure I've got all the hair. And the hair is much more uh, nicer to feel when it's cut with a hot scissor because the close ends are very very nice to feel. They are smooth. Uh, we, we, you uh, notice it when you comb your hair. You don't get stuck in it. 
when you um, dry it with a round uh, brush, you don't get stuck in it. So it's, it is better for your hair. Take them up to the sides. This is also a slight graduation to the hair. Go to the other side. Okay, time to bleach. Coloring, I use my uh, protection, so always, as always, the plastic foil. Start on top. I use Sebo Bleach, Blue Bleach, 9%. And I set in the outgrow. Now I work all the hair to the center line so the sides are free. And I put on the bleach there, the last, because then all the hair is on top. Now coming to the sides. Smurf? Yeah. <laughs> the girl smurf. Have a hard life when you are a girl smurf. <laughs> Only men around there. <laughs> It's been a hard day's night. I might be smurfing like a doll. I think it uh, takes about uh, 20 minutes to develop and then I will watch at the hair if there is any similarity to the outgrow and the hair. And I don't put bleach on that because that I do in the sink by washing the bleach into the hair and then let it develop a little bit more because it's already light blonde and the less damage it gets the better the hair is. This I cover up with a cotton wig so the heat of the plastic foil is not too much. I don't use heat in the time the bleach develops. It takes out the colors. And in about a half hour we'll be back. Use on top of her uh, from Goldwell a 10 V. It's a, a foam. But it's, it's, it's a foam like uh, a conditioner uh, with uh, more than just a foam because it stays in for about uh, five to six washing times. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create uh, a Christmas hairstyle because now she can wear it, of course she can wear it like she wanted. She can wear it even if she likes like a bob that you work it out like this and then you have a bob so for girls who are afraid of uh, shaved sides you don't have to be afraid because now it looks like a bob when she turns to you you can see that it does when you would dry this you don't see that she's shaved at the sides that I don't do I'm gonna work it out in a water wave so you get a nice Christmas hairstyle I use large rollers and I work it out roughly so you get a trendy feeling when you see this kind of water wave. good with Christmas. It's red.
pull the hair just into the roller so it gets straight and lays like you count it. I have all the rollers on a longer hair. I just put the protection for slipping. This is put under the dryer and then we'll be back to show you the end result. I see a wonderful nice short lifetime. I can in the meantime clean the contour. Hey. Clean the contour line. Oh, that feels like so nice. But it's very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Come that you have a feel of feeling as that they are. Yeah. Kim lost it. Okay, we're <laughs> back in 20 minutes. Okay, we're back. So now I take out the rollers. First, of course, I take off the net. Pom 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 pom. Ga ik allemaal filmen? Ga ik niet allemaal filmen? Ook van met die kleine klippertjes. Ah, that's creepy. So I take out the rollers and I loosen the curls. <laughs> loosen the curls because then I get the more creative curly lines. Now I'm going to use a soft wax. Of rover hair. <laughs> it's a synthetic wax, it's not a, a greasy wax. This gives the girls more power. And rein on one rein. And it smells like origins, mandarins, eat the thing so. <laughs> so it's that's Dutch for something like that. Volgens mij was dat meer de taal. Dan maar zeg ik niet. Ah, ik kan schelen, joh. Spray. Lay the curls back on each other. <laughs> Almost party time. Eh? Nice, you're going to have a blitz. A hele overdreven make-up drop. So now is Kim ready to rumbo? <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Kim, you may turn for you and the rest of the world to show the end result. It's a wonderful platinum blonde hairstyle. Thank you very much. <laughs>